Hi there, my name is Stefan. I'm going to present you Monads and Julia. I implement that in two packages, type classes and data types. Basic. I'm a freelancer, reach out, I'm interested in function programming in general. Looking at type classes, we um, want to reuse as much base as possible, make it stable, simple and convenient. So we we'll simplify to kind of the key things and one of these key things is a functor, applicative and monad interfaces. So we have the map function, pure app to find an applicative and flat map for monad. Here's some extra considerations you can take a look at. Um, for semi-group, monoid alternative, this is kind of the second group of things. We have this neutral combined or else defined as a central interface. And we have a, a third group that's the flip types. It's a, a new type class name comes from myself and it's key key feature. So if you have a nested type, an A of an B of a C, it wraps it into a B of an A of a C. So that's kind of a really important feature. Looking at some concrete things which implement these interfaces already, you can take a look at data types basics. So we have here option try and either, option representing something which can be nothing, a try representing something which can error. Both names are taken from Scala, and then there's the either part, which has a general stopping behavior, so you can return whatever you want if you stop. We re represent both with the same underlying um, types. So we have an identity type, just stripping a value and denoting the normal stuff, and a const, again, ripping a value, but denoting the stopping action. These are actually taking the names are taken from Haskell, so common types known to the world. Here, an overview. So having these, there's one extra context manager, but then with identity constant, then either try and option implemented as a union of a constant identity. So that's the key idea. Type classes comes also with some extra data types, but not so important. Let's take a look at um, the option. So we have here, we can use the, the constructor, the type itself to construct values. If we get it a normal value, we get an identity. If we get it nothing, we get actually a, a const. So that's really kind of the key here. You wrap it into this monad interface. We get also nice syntax where you can use something like do, do syntax from Haskell. We have try with a nice macro which will um, catch your errors and also show your stack traces nicely. With either you can return whatever thing you want if it stops. And yeah, key last point is composing monads is possible, but the later monad needs to be convertible to the former one. That's kind of the restriction. But either try and option as they are implemented with the same thing, they compose naturally. And if you want to compose other monads, take a look at extensible effects. It has its own talk at JuliaCon.